Hey guys, John Luke Outdoors here. It's been a couple days since I posted the video. I just wanted to get in touch with everybody with one of my favorite guns. And uh, it is approximately 64 degrees here for January in Kentucky. So I am in a short sleeve shirt and it feels amazing. So today we wanted to go through and work this pump action a couple times and uh, see what it can do to the old coke bottles that you saw previously in the video so we're going to do one test fire and then we're going to do five quick pumps to finish her off um, I have one good milk jug that I'm wanting to save for a later episode for a different topic um, I'm probably going to use a slug for one of these so it'll be fun um, hope y'all enjoy we're going to uh, drop the hammer all right so we got the 870 wingmaster loaded up and uh, hope I don't regret this but I'm gonna set my phone a little bit closer to the target so y'all can see on the impact uh, the very first shots gonna be a slug want to see what the old slug will do to the bottle I imagine it's probably going to explode it so that'll be a good view on camera I'll put it down in slow motion that way you can see the entry and exit um, this isn't a high speed camera or anything like that, so you get the gist of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prop my phone up and get it rolling. Alright, here we go. One slug coming up. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Um, shooting Remingtons opened up very nicely. Good contact on the primer. Let's see what it did to the Coke bottle. Alright, so shooting just a little bit high on this. You can see I just absolutely splintered it. Um, now, being as close as I was, I was probably. 10 15 yards uh, I believe what happened the sights do sit a little bit higher on top of the barrel so it's going to obviously project just a little bit higher um, but at a great distance I think that it would be perfect candidate um, now I believe it was a one ounce slug that shot so at a long distance it's not going to have the velocity obviously as a 30-30 bullet or a 30-06 or a 203 or anything like that but I have no doubts that would be a squash deer. And also, guys, for environmental cleanliness, always pick up your stuff. There's no sense in having garbage laying around. So, Coke bottle going in the garbage. There's no sense in having anything laying around. Animals can get choked on or, you know, have anything wrapped around their necks. So, I know that sounds like a green freak, but... It's true, you know, God provided the land for you, so you need to treat it with respect. So, we're going to, we got five left, we're going to walk it through, see if we can get some good footage. Alright, for those curious, we're shooting feds, and they are number eights. They kind of wore off a little bit, you may not be able to see it, but they are number eights. Also known as a bird shot. Um, typically, I have a shorter barrel, um, so I still use it for squirrel. But my druthers, absolutely 22 rifle. So let's see what it does to the old Coca Cola.
All right, friends, for those that are not too gun savvy, this right here is what the birdshot looked like compared to the size of your hand. So that gives you an idea. They're very small. There is a bunch of them that is stuffed in that little shotgun shell cartridge. Um, and for those that do not know what a wadding is, all right, it kind of looks like a honeycomb, but this is a wadding. And you can kind of see all the little bit black dots on it. Um, but basically what this is, is this is the propeller that all the BBs sit down inside of. The explosion happens back here and propels it forward. So this acts as a big net to capture everything that's coming out of the barrel and holds it together real nice and tight in the barrel. Obviously that's not straight, but you get the just. And when it comes out, the air captures the corners of the wadding. And the wadding falls away and slows down and you'll often see when somebody's shooting in the air you'll see this twisting through the air falling down but the birdshot is long gone and left it so this is a wadding it's just plastic nothing extremely stern real you know real flexible it's a real bendable material um, but also when, when I can I try to pick these up as well when you shoot a whole box it looks like Christmas you just walk through a big <laughs> wadding field but this is it guys um, I'm gonna get inside get the gun cleaned up and hope y'all enjoyed all right guys it is blistered no doubt that any small game would absolutely put a hurting on it every bottle looks this way they're basically in pieces <laughs> so that's a good sign Old feds work. Um, I've used Winchesters, I've used feds. Um, for my gun specifically, I like the feds. Um, I think you can get a box of 20 25 for right around $5.90 something cents. So they work out great. I have no complaints on them. Um, for our shotgun shells, the feds that Walmart sells is the way to go. But I'm sure there's better out there. But that's what I got, cheapest thing to find. So. Um, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased, guys. If you want to see some more shooting videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I cut this one a little bit more short, and it was great to be out here till most dark. You can kind of see the setting changing around me. Um, thank you all for everything. Give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. Y'all have a great evening, great day, wherever you're at, and stay busy.